Hi, on today's video we're going to answer, we're going to give you a detailed explanation on how to adopt a dog from this organization. We're called Let's Adopt. So let's focus on that, on adopting. Whenever you see an animal being rescued, whenever you see us going to rescue the animal, bringing him to the hospital, treating him, rehabilitating, this is a whole process that usually lasts for months. But at the end of this process, there is a clear objective in mind. We have to find a home for life for this animal. First we save his life and then we find him a home for life. Now, this may seem simple, but it's actually very complicated. Usually the animals that we rescued are so severely injured and they have chronic diseases. Some of them are paralyzed. Some of them will require medication for life. That is not easy to find the right home for this animal. We, we make our videos, we cast the net really wide, and then we hope that someone is gonna watch these videos and is gonna open their family, their home for this animal. There is a process to follow and I try to explain it in every text, in every video, you know, but usually, I don't know, sometimes it's not clear enough. Let me give you a few details. Whenever you see one of these animals, one of our videos, and you would like to bring this animal to your home, the first thing you have to do is you have to first write an email to me. Here is my email address. Is, this, is, this step is very important. Usually we get notifications on the YouTube page and on Facebook. I will adopt this dog. Please give me this dog. I want this dog for me. Now, we cannot consider these kind of messages like a serious adoption application. So please write me an email. And what do you include in this email is you tell me everything about you, your family, tell me your location, tell me where you are. You're in Canada, you're in the US, you're in Spain, you're wherever you are in South America. Tell me about you, your family, your animals. I need to have a clear understanding of the kind of life that your animals have and that our animal will have with you. If you tell me, I like dogs very much, but I have never had a dog before, uh, please send me Dorian. Uh, we have to evaluate if Dorian is gonna fit in your home. And I'm giving Dorian as an example. Dorian is actually adopted in the US and is going to a beautiful family. But I just gave Dorian as an example. So we need to see, we need to have a clear understanding of what you and your family are all about. We need to see pictures of your animals because when I see pictures of your animals, your dog, your cat, then I can get a feeling of the kind of life that our animal will have with you. So we're looking for families that have another animal. Now, but you may tell me, oh no, but I love dogs very much and I don't have any. Don't I have the right to adopt from you? Well, the things that are adopting from us it's not a right, it's a privilege. And in the same way that if you told me, look, Victor, I like cars very much. Can I borrow your car? But I have never driven before. I will tell you, mm, okay, well, maybe you're gonna crash it. It's very difficult to give a dog to someone that has never had a dog before. The chances of failure for a first time adoption or a first time purchase, if, if you buy a dog, that first time, chances are, it's not gonna work. It's a first try, unfortunately. It's like your first boyfriend or your first girlfriend, you know, it's a first. So we need to make sure that our animals are gonna go to an established family, to a family that is stable, to a family that knows how to treat a dog. And best way to make sure of that is if that family has a dog right now. Now, sometimes we make exceptions, of course. Right? There are exceptions to the rules. Sometimes we have uh, people that just lost their dog and that would like to adopt again. Obviously, when you write to me with a story like this, it's very simple. It's include pictures of your dog so that I can see how do your dog lived and then I will see how my dog is gonna live. Um, we make some exceptions sometimes. We have animals that don't get along with other dogs, for example. Then it's good to find a home that doesn't have any other animal at the moment. We make exceptions, but usually no. Then please tell us where you live. It's such an obvious thing. But I would say that 60, 70% of the letters I receive don't tell us where, where, where the family lives, actually. 
So sometimes I have to ask, okay, but this is a beautiful letter, but where are you right now? And they say, well, I, we live in Ohio or we live in you know, Montana or in New York, but usually don't tell us on the, on the, on the letter. Then other things that we, we need to see is uh, we need to see things like you know, how you treat your animal, whether your animal was healthy or he had health issues, so that you know how to treat and you know how to answer to a health emergency. Uh, what do you feed your animal? We really value uh, families that are open to feed their animals, uh, to feed our animals with a, with a biologically appropriate diet, and that means a raw diet. So sometimes people don't do it, but, uh, but in those cases we speak to them and we explain the whole logic behind and then usually it works very well and people do it. We try to, to develop a long-term relationship with our families. Uh, once you adopt a dog from us, um, you become part of the family of Let's Adopt. Uh, you developed a, a direct and close relationship with me uh, over the years I'll be here and this organization will be here for you in case you have a problem. Over the years we will expect you to send us pictures and to send us videos to see how the animal is doing. And, uh, and we have developed beautiful friendships with families all around the world uh, over the years. Families that are really proud of sending us videos and pictures of their animals. Families like Gordy's family or Gino's family or I don't know, I mean we have hundreds of rescues around the world and these relationships are very valued for us. Then another question that people ask us is how much is that going to cost? How do you handle the transport? Who pays for this? Now, this organization is quite unique in the way that we don't request money from our adoptive families. The logic uh, is very clear. Usually to send a dog, for example, to the United States is quite expensive and it requires a very you know, high logistical effort. So if we left this burden onto the families that adopt, then most probably in the end it wouldn't happen. So these animals deserve a home and they deserve us to make a big effort in getting them there. Usually when a family adopts an animal, adopts one of our animals, usually these people are already donors or they have donated towards the treatment of the animal or they get involved with the organization in one way or another. So we prefer to pay for this cost ourselves. For example, if uh, you adopt, again, Dorian in the US, uh, Dorian's family is not going to pay for the ticket. They will probably help in some way to another animal in need, but that ticket will be purchased by this organization. Then usually it's either me or one of our friends and people working for us delivering the animal there and then you can expect a video. Now, those videos are very important because they show the closing of the circle. The whole rescue started when the animal was injured and critical, then there's been the whole rehabilitation, the whole transformation, and then in the end, bam! You know, we make these videos with the animal living happily in a family. These videos, they bring a lot of credibility to the organization. One of the problems that other rescues have is that they don't document this process throughout. Now, we make a big effort. We want to make sure that whomever donated to an animal, at the end is going to know that this animal went to a home. This is very important. And I'm sure if you ever donated to Sky or to Betsy or to Gordy or to one of our hundreds and hundreds of animals, you're very happy to see the kind of life that he has. I mean, you've seen how Olaf was at the beginning when he was rescued as a kitty burned, and then you saw him living there happily with a beautiful family. This brings a lot of credibility to the organization and to the process. So, to make a long story short, first, write me an email. Tell me everything about you and your family. Include pictures. Tell me where you are, and don't worry about cost, because we will cover for it will cover everything. Now, some people may say, oh, but if you adopt one of these animals, you should pay for everything. It's much easier to spread the cost of an adoption amongst thousands of people than to make one single family, usually a normal family, we usually a family with not much money, if we make them responsible for everything. So we are thousands of people here. We can do amazing things. The whole organization is based on the principles of generosity, of goodness of heart. If we help animals, we must also help people. 
the people that will adopt our animals. Okay, so hopefully this quick video is gonna leave things a bit clear for, for, for everyone. Please also understand that at the moment with this COVID-19 pandemic, adoptions are becoming very difficult for us. We get letters from the United States every day and they are beautiful families and we get letters from Germany and from Holland and from Europe. At the moment, we're having a serious trouble bringing these animals home. Please bear with me. When I get your letters, I read them, I make a mental note. We actually, we have like a, like a list of adoptions of families that have been pre-approved pre you know, as adopters. But at the moment, many of our animals cannot go home. Please be a bit patient with us. We're struggling. Uh, we have animals that have been waiting for a long time and that at the moment they are just stuck. We cannot go on planes uh, to places where we are not allowed to travel. So, guys, thanks a lot. I hope this thing clarifies a little bit the whole process. Uh, if you would like to adopt one of our animals, we have beautiful, beautiful guys waiting for families. You see it in our videos. Please write to me. I try to answer as quick as possible. If I don't, insist. Okay, make sure that the email gets to me and let's do this. Let's adopt. Thank you very much for being here and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Take care.